Hey guys, no Butcher here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have the final tier list. Well, possibly the final tier list for Ranger. Ranger Elite tier list. Finally, we are here. Ranger is the last profession from Guild Wars 1 that I know a lot about. So that's why I'm here to talk about them too. I could do Mesmer and Assassin, which are the last two I haven't done, but I don't know too much about Mesmer. I know a bit more about Assassin. So let me know down below if you guys want to see those two videos too. But I will, I would like you to respect the fact that I'm not going to be as knowledgeable in those two professions over, over the rest. Um, also, I'm going to be starting a new series very soon, actually, for Guild Wars 1. It's probably going to be starting next week, if you're watching this now. <laughs> uh, or maybe the week after, um, because there's been a lot of stuff going on in the Monster Hunter space, but I want to still have stuff to deliver for you guys. So stay tuned, a new playthrough, a new idea for me. Not too crazy an idea, probably people have done it before, but I want to give it my own take. Let's get into these skills. Okay, the first one we have is Archer's Signet. So let me just open up my other screen. Archer Signet is an elite signet. 1 to 24 seconds. Conditions you apply while wielding a bow last for 100% longer. Okay, that's very interesting. One cast time, 12 second cooldown. Now at 12, the duration is 19 seconds and at 15 is 24. And if you get to 20, it's going to be 32, which is quite long. Now, obviously this is a signet, so it doesn't require any energy, which is great. One cool thing about this ability, you don't actually need to do the condition with your bow. You just have to have the, the bow equipped it. So this is for any skill. So you can, I don't know, use another skill from another class, any of the burning skills in elementalis, any of the other skills in necro with poison and disease, and it will work. It will last longer. So this is pretty cool. This is very interesting. And it lasts us quite a long time. Like I was saying, at 15, it's double the duration of the cooldown, which is cool. So you can keep this up all the time. So you can all the time, you can have 100% longer conditions. So I think this is pretty good. Definitely, if you are some really big conditions that you want to have, burns, bleeds, I cannot be these burns, dazes, and so on. So this one for me, at the moment, I'm going to put this in B. I think it's a pretty good skill. It does a lot. And it does it well. What it does, it does it well. So I'm quite, I quite like it. I quite like it. Indeed. So right now I'm going to put a B and we'll see how it goes from there on. Next, we've got Barrage. Now, Barrage is a very famous skill. Let's read that one here. Barrage is an elite bow attack. Deals 5 to 20 damage. Hits 5 adjacent foes to your target. So that's 6 foes in total. All your preparations are removed. So you can't link this with any preparations. 5 energy, 1 second cooldown. So like I said, at 15, you get 20. At 21, 26 damage. So the damage doesn't increase too much, but... It's like one point each each level, but still pretty good. Definitely could hit six people. The, the thing about Barrage, Barrage is a really good skill. It hits a lot of people. It's strong. It's nice. It, it's good for AOE and it's low cooldown. So you can use it every other hit, basically, which is great. Or pretty much every hit. You're barraging everyone. Um, the plus about this, I mean, it's the best AOE you have as a Ranger. Low cooldown, like I said. It works with some unhit effects. So if the effect says on hit, do this and it's a continuous effect that happens all the time it's just whenever you hit it will happen for example there's some um there's one anthem with paragon which when you hit an enemy with higher hp i think you do burning or it's lower hp is one of the two and this would if you hit multiple enemies it would actually work on all of them but then there's other skills let's use paragon again the anthem of flame where the next skill when your next hit does burning this would only hit on one of the targets so it'll be one random target um because it only applies the one time which is a big difference so you need to remember that so it does have you know a slight weakness but no it's not really a weakness because it still it still works but you just don't know it's going to work on that's the only thing but this has a low energy which is good um the only other weakness i can say about this one is the target is very close it's adjacent so you're not always going to get the six in PvE, if they're really close together, you're going to get the 6, but a lot of times you might not get the 6. So it's going to be hard to really use at some periods. Another really cool thing though about this skill, it works really well with skills like Splinter's, Splinter Weapon. This is a very, very famous ritualist skill that allows it to hit. I think when you attack with a, an attack, you also hit 3 adjacent foes. So basically when you shoot this, it's going to use it all, but it's going to be like a big airy spike. We hit six, and I think maybe four or five of those hits, it's going to hit three more people. So ideally, you're going to be doing crazy amounts of damage for that spike. 
and splinter splinter weapon has a very low cooldown so it's quite good so for me right now i'm putting this in s i think it's an s class skill pve it does us a lot and it's very worth it you're gonna want to bring this most of the time a lot of the time it's definitely one of the skills that if you have it there's no worries you know you're doing good you're doing good uh, what's this next one broad arrowhead elite bow attack slow moving arrow okay interrupts a spell inflicts days condition 5 to 20 seconds 15 energy and 15 second cooldown okay so the duration of the days at 12 is 17 15 20 and 21 is 26 all right so you can get quite long days how, how important is days in PvE? Well, it really depends on what you're fighting. Sometimes you do want to daze those monks, those ritualists, those bosses. I would mostly say in hard mode content. Um, but this is a slow moving. So, you know, it's quite easy for enemies to dodge stuff in hard mode. Um, definitely a lot of people are really like tagging on them. And this is slow moving, so they probably they might actually just run out of the way. Definitely they increase movement speed. Energy is really, really high super high it's a daze it's nice but because it's slow moving i don't know i think it's a d i think it has usage but i don't know how often you want to really bring this skill like it the cooldown as well it just it just lasts way too long that like, i'd prefer to have a power gun with their spear attack um i think that would be much much more of a well just the best skill in general and there's other ways to do days that are more guaranteed than than this in pve Next, we've got Burning Arrow. Right, Burning Arrow is an elite bow attack. Deals 10 to 30 damage and inflicts burning. Okay. For 1 to 7 seconds. At 12, 26 damage. At 21, 38. So that's actually a big increase. It actually goes quite high. 10 energy, 5 second cooldown. Now, this has got some great damage. Um, it's got a decent cooldown. Only 5 second cooldown is not too bad. And the energy isn't too high. 10 uh, rangers have ways to reduce the energy with expertise so it's not the worst burn minus seven pips is great i think that's a great minus i think this is a really good skill honestly i think this is really good i'm just wondering where to put it i think it might sit in b but it could go up to a honestly it could go up to a but i'm gonna put it in b for now if, it, if it's above this or below this i'm gonna put it, um above this one does allow a lot of synergy a lot of different type of classes but i think this one overall this is a strong skill honestly with the, with the damage you do as well but i don't know i'm gonna leave it there for now but we'll we'll, we'll definitely see as we as we go ahead all right the next one is crippling shot it's an elite bow attack unblockable inflicts cripple condition 1 to 11 seconds at turn one you get 15 seconds 10 energy four second cooldown now it's unblockable which is cool you know unblockable moves are nice but cripple as well People duration is okay. It's not too long, but it's okay. It's low cooldown. You know, you can use this often. Slightly high energy for what it does, but it's a cripple. But it's unblockable cripple, which is cool, I guess. But it's a cripple. That's the problem. It's a cripple. So for me, it's gone in E. Like cripples, who cares about cripple? A single target cripple as well in PvE. There's so many. There's so many slows of a class of Ellie. There's the AOE cripple with Dervish. There's AOE slows with Mesma even like and single target slows are better with mesmer so yeah i don't know I, I don't see it really as being a proficient thing that you want to use often not really next one we've got a rage lunge enraged lunge is an elite pet attack so it's a beast mastery it inflicts deep ruin condition 5 to 20 seconds and deals 10 to 50 damage that is an insane amount of damage at 12 you get 17 seconds of deep ruin and plus 42 damage and at 20 25 seconds of deep wound and 63 damage five energy five second cooldown this skill is pretty crazy that 50 damage 50 damage and the deep wound deep wound already decreases your max hp by 20 doing 50 plus damage they basically they could be doing 100 damage and then also doing 20 percent um, reduction of your health which basically could mean around 170 damage to you in technically one hit every five seconds that's deep room forever absolute insane skill i don't know where this one goes but it's definitely an s i'm gonna put a lot in s well, not a lot there's gonna be some in s and then at the end i'm gonna come back and think do do they move the s plus do they make it to the next barrier right now i don't know but we will see we will see all right guys we might as well go along and do the pvp version now so elite 
Pet attack still deals 3 to 23 damage, maximum of 80, for each of your recharging beast mastery skills. So technically, your damage on this one can actually be higher than the normal version, as you can go all the way up to 80, which is pretty damn insane, actually. That's pretty damn insane. So apparently, at 18 plus, all you need is 3 of the beast mastery skills on cooldown, and then you're at max damage of 80. Um, so that can be quite a lot. That's a lot of damage. Five energy, five second cooldown. Still, this one. Where would I put this one? Um, yeah, I think I think it's still really good. You know, I think it's still really good. I'll put this like a, a B. You know, it doesn't have it, it doesn't have that deep wound, so it goes down a bit, but the damage is still really high. But it's also de depending on your recharge, right? How many how many beast mastery skills you have on recharge, and I guess you're gonna have to really commit into a lot. Um, and you're going to lose out on some of your other range of skills as well. To actually make this work very well. So I think maybe this is like a B, C. I'll put it in low B for now. And we'll just leave it there. Equinox. Interesting name. Elite Nature Ritual. Creates a level 1 to 10 spirit. 30 to 150 seconds. Let's just drag this in. 150 seconds. Splice ban. Overcast. This is a, such a weird way of describing it. Overcast, overcast causing spells. Cast within the range cause an additional 10 overcast. <laughs> what a weird way they've put this. Luckily, we've got two here. The one above pretty much says if a skill makes you overcast, you're going to gain an additional 10. So if you gain three overcasts, in the end, you're going to gain 13. If you gain five, 15, and so on. 10 energy, three second cast time. 15 second cooldown. Now, 3 second cast time is pretty standard for these abilities in PvE, PvE um, spirits, so that makes sense. Now, obviously, spirits work for your teammates and your ally and your enemies, so this is going to hurt your team. Ellie's on your team are going to get hurt. Um, what, other, what other classes actually use exhaust? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty much just Ellie. This, this really fucks up Ellie's. Ellie enemies and Ellie allies. Literally, that's that's literally it. And for that reason, this is an F. Like, I don't I don't see the point of this ability, honestly. I mean, unless you're fine against an uh, enemy team with a lot of ally uh, um, allies somewhere, um, then maybe. But even then, they're not gonna have that many overclass spells that it's gonna really make a difference, to be honest. So yeah, I think this is an F. Like, there's not much more for me to add. I just don't think it's good. It's not really impactful on the team. I don't really like the way that spirits work in this game anyway, and they were going to do a revamp to it. I'm pretty sure Wilderness Survival. I don't think this is a Wilderness Survival score, actually. No, it is. Yeah, Wilderness Survival was going to get a change. It never got it. It never got the change. So it's too bad. They really needed one. All right, next we got Escape. Elite starts one to eight seconds. You move 33% faster and have 75% chance to block. Five energy, 12 second cooldown. So at 20, this is 10 duration, so there's no way for you to keep this up 100% of the time. So there's a small window where you can't block. Uh, but and you're moving faster, this is pretty good. It's a pretty strong skill, actually. Um, definitely if you're trying to do some farming and PvE. The blocks are really nice, the movement speed is really nice. There's ways to increase stances, like with Dwarven stance. Dwarven stability helps you increase the stance, so you can, it can last forever. So you can maintain this forever, which is pretty good. So yeah, I'd, I'd put this in a B, somewhere around like here. I think it's pretty good. It's useful, definitely for those type of running builds and so on. Now, this is escape PvP. I forgot to put the PvP thing here. Whoops, my bad. Um, elite starts 1 to 8 seconds. You move 33% faster and 75% chance to block. Ends if you make a melee attack. 5 energy, 12 second cooldown. It's pretty much the same. The only issue with this skill is that, you know, you can't use melee attack, which, uh, I don't know. Back in the day, there was a lot of melee ranges. There's not much anymore. Um, but this is definitely a very useful skill to have in PvP. Honestly, it actually sits pretty much right aside the other one, maybe even better because it's PvP. I might actually put this better just because it's PvP and allowing you to move faster and have that block. This was great. Now, people don't normally attack ranges anyway, but this just allows you to have that extra, you know, the extra defense if you need. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll put it here. This is weird. So the PvP version is better than PvE, PvE version, guys, in my opinion, just because of what PvP is and what you need in that kind of, you know, place. Our expertise dexterity is elite stance once to, one to 20 seconds you attack 33 percent faster and gain two to your marksmanship attribute this is pretty cool i actually like this skill quite a lot five energy 20 second cooldown now at 15 you get 20 second duration so this lasts forever at 20 it's 26 which is overkill 
it's a stance so you can only take this and pretty much use no other stance because i don't think you need it when you got this one it's a great ability i mean a favorite percent faster means you're just doing a lot more damage because you're hitting first faster see master spirit just increases all your damage and at pvp pve is all about damage it covers the duration low cooldown s definitely an s for me i think it deserves to be s if it's better than rest i don't know but i think it's definitely an s it just allows you to do a lot um uh, yeah it's just a strong skill i really like it the pvp version elite stance 1 to 20 seconds you attack 15 percent faster and you gain plus one to your mastermind attribute so pretty much the same skill it's just that instead of 33 percent faster it's 15 percent faster attack speed and instead of two marksmanship, you get one. Yeah, so it's the same as above, really. But I put this in like B. Like, it's still good. It's still good. But PvE, maybe it's not what you actually know. In PvP, it's not really what you go for, right? You don't need attack speed, 15%. Who cares? The, ra the role of a ranger in PvP is all about interruptions and spreading conditions. Or either or. It's one of those two. And this doesn't really help with either. So, yeah, I probably know. Yeah, probably know. All right, next we got Famine. Elite Nature Ritual creates a level 1 to 10 spirit, 30 to 90 second lifespan deals 10 to 35 damage to creature in range that reach zero energy does not affect spirits 10 energy three second cool cast time and 15 second cooldown um so this thing can actually really well with other energy burning comps you know necros mesmers devrishes which we've gone through most of them so far at 20 you can do 43 damage which is pretty damn good yep and it, it happens every time to reach zero so if you keep getting to zero it's just going to keep damaging them, which is great. I think that's, that's actually really good. I think it's really good. I think for me, it goes somewhere in B. For now, I'll just put it at the end. I don't know this order of B yet. I'm going to come back to that a bit later. I normally say I'm going to come back and I don't come back. But this time, guys, this time, I'm coming back. All right, guys, the next kill, Ferocious Strike. Elite Pet Attack deals 13 to 28 damage. So straight away, that's quite a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. You're going to drill it in and three to ten energy that's interesting gaining adrenaline is not something that you normally need us for a, a ranger how much adrenaline do you gain okay this skill so apparently the skill gives you one adrenaline regardless of beast mastery rank so i guess it'll give you two no it'll just give you one because a pet attack uh not okay that's fine five energy a second cooldown so this one i feel you know it goes really good damage you know pretty, yeah pretty good damage um good effect that you get the energy this is nice. And the cooldown is very low. It's 8 seconds. So well, it's not very low. It's decently low. 8 seconds. So for me, this one goes into B as well. Probably goes around the end of here. I think it's good. Actually, I think I'm going to move these around like this. Yeah, I think I'll move these around like this. Yeah, it goes at the end. It's not too bad. You don't really need the energy, but it's got good damage. No one near as, as good as this one, but it's got good damage. And that's what matters. Okay, Glass Arrow. Ooh, I like this skill. It's an elite preparation. 10 to 35 seconds. It's a long, long time. Your arrows deal 5 to 20 damage, inflicts bleed condition if blocked, 10 to 20 seconds. 5 energy, 2 second cast time, 12 second cooldown. So at 12 it does, uh, it does 17 damage and at 20 it does 25 damage, which is quite a lot for each hit. Uh, it just increases your damage overall, this is great. Although it's a preparation, so it doesn't work with any other preparations because you, you can only have one preparation at a time. So that means any of the attack boosts, any of the attack speeds or anything like that, you, don't, you can't stack them up. You can stack stances, obviously, so you can get attack speed from stances, but not from preparations themselves. So I think it's a great damage. You've got good duration. 35 seconds is a long time. At 20, it's um, 43, which is crazy amount. Stuff that three times the amount that the cooldown is. Energy's low. Bleed's a decent condition. The only thing is when, it's, when you block, when it gets blocked. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, even if they block, you're still doing something, which is, you know, pretty decent. Yeah, I think it's like a, a B or A. Honestly, I think it's like a B or A. Um, I'm going to put in, in, like, uh top b for now so far we've got a lot of skills in b there's also a pvp version of glass arrows elite preparation 10 to 35 seconds just so the same seconds your arrows deal 5 to 12 damage so it's decreased you inflict the bleed condition it blocked 10 to 20 seconds so that's the same five energy two second cast time 12 second cooldown yeah so it's just the damage that changed pretty much for my yeah just using my eyes it's just the damage that changed so um i just move it down to like a c i guess you know, you just, you do less damage. I guess you still get the bleed if they block. But yeah, it's okay. Nothing crazy. It could be D, I guess. But I think it's alright, you know. More damage, right? What's wrong with that? You can never say no to more damage. Okay, the next, the Great Convocation. Elite Nature's Nature Ritual. Creates a level 1 to 10 spirit. 
30 to 150 second lifespan converts physical damage to fire damage for creatures in range does not affect spirits 5 energy 3 second cooldown and 15 second cast time <laughs> one good round 3 second cast time 15 second cooldown now it, it changes all your physical to fire damage now why is this useful well basically you can use this as a build around your team where you take less fire damage so you take things that give you um, fire resistances you take things that that when you do damage as well it works with fire so you know when you hit when you use a fire attack you do burn really like the the mark of rugged or something like that control of flame does more damage you know things like that matches of flame which on mesmer decreases how much damage you take from fire damage or make you more tanky and they also get energy from that too i believe yeah they do get energy so just adding those things together it's like good interesting synchronization now how often would you be able to use this uh i still don't think it's worth it overall so it's this it's this in c for me probably like maybe top of c it's interesting but it's not the greatest thing out there honestly it's not the greatest thing out there heal as one elite skill 15 seconds your pet attacks still 1 to 20 health initial effect heals you and your pet for 20 to 104 and resurrects your pet at 50 percent if dead if you have a if, if you have this equipped your pet will travel with you this skill does so much it steals health it heals you and your pet it resurrects your pet and then it also brings them with you this is like the ultimate beast master skill in a way at 20 you get healed 132 which is quite high and the life still is 26 at 12 is 16. five energy one second cast time five second cooldown so you can spam this you can spam heals for your pets and spam heals for yourself you're going to keep healthy um low cooldown this one's really good it has low energy and it's great supportive healing a very supportive skill but it's good life still is great your pets don't stay alive i think this is an a i think this is a great skill i think that it's definitely worth taking it's not offensive you know you want more offense in pve generally but you know there might be some scenarios where you want your ranger to, to tank i guess or you want to tank yourself and this is basically three skills in one so it fills up your spot you your your the skill bar you don't need to bring the thing that makes you um raise your pet you don't have to bring the thing that makes you take your pet which i think those two already combined but then you also get life still from with your pet and then you also heal you and your pet this is crazy so much in one i actually really like this skill i haven't taken it before on any, any of the rangers i played or any npcs but it's de definitely an interesting spell 100 percent, 100 percent. and next we've got the pvp version of healers one what you got for us so it's an elite skill heals you and your pet for 25 to 145 so there's more healing that's interesting if your pet is dead if your pet is dead it is resurrected with 50 percent health okay no effect if neither you or nor your pet are below 75 percent health i see so you can't just use it when you're high you got to use it when you're when you're lower all right uh five energy one cast time a second cooldown Definitely more cooldown, but I guess you lose out on the life still, but you get healed more. So I think it's actually pretty good for supportive capabilities. That's why it goes up to a B for me. Honestly, it goes above this one. It goes on here. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. You and your pet can stay alive for a long time and just keep on ramming. Like, you have no worries, honestly. Self-sustained. I think it's great. Incinery Arrows. Elite bow attack hits two foes near your target and afflicts a burn for one to three seconds. Five energy, five second cooldown. Burn can go up to four when you get to 19. Pretty simple spell, but this allows you to hit three people and it's a way for you to spread the conditions. You can spread burn, you can spread bleed or poison with one of your preparations. It's just a way for you to hit many people just to spread conditions and it's just a bit of burn for like three seconds. What, three seconds, four seconds burn? the damage adds up so honestly i think this is pretty good i'd say it either goes to b or a if i'm honest um i'm gonna put it like near the top of b uh maybe a actually i think it goes into a because that's the way for you to spread conditions you can spread three burns three poisons in literally one hit and it's near your target it's not even adjacent it's near and that's pretty crazy that is pretty crazy in my opinion infuriating heat it's elite nature nature ritual creates a level 
1 to 10 spirits, 30 to 60 seconds lifespan. Doubles drilling in gain for in range. Okay. 5 energy, 3 second cast time, 15 second cooldown. Double gen the drilling is kind of lame. Because it means you're, you're you're hurting you're hurting paragons, you're hurting dervish dervishes, you're hurting paragons, you're hurting dervishes, and you're hurting warriors all in one. So you can't take any of them in your team. Obviously, you're hurting opponents and how they get drilling in. But warriors aren't the most deadly in PvE anyway. It's definitely opponent warriors. Uh, so I don't know. I think this is like an F. I don't. I just don't think it's good. Just, like you're just hurting your team too much. I don't think the benefits you get are worth the destructive capabilities that this does. In my opinion, but that's just me. I want to know hear what you guys think down below. And here we got lacerate an elite nature ritual. Create a level one to ten spirit, thirty to hundred fifty second lifespan. Bleeding creatures in range have a minus 2 health degen. N effect. Inflicts bleed condition 5 to 25 seconds. On creatures in range that have less than 90% health. Does not affect spirits. 10 energy, 3 second cast time, 15 second cooldown. Now, minus 2 bleed isn't much. I mean, you just go make sure they're minus, minus 6 basically, which is, I guess it helps. But at that point, I think... You might as well just have other conditions like poison and other ways to do conditions like I don't know minus two doesn't do much and the end effect that like, how often are you going to get the end effect actually happen like it's you know it's, it's too unreliable to let the end effect work for this I think this is spirit just garbage honestly I think it's I think it's garbage I think I was an F straight garbage not I don't think it's worse than this one it's just not good honestly it's not good don't take it do not take that skill Mage Bane a shot. Another Mage Bane. We had some Mage Bane stuff in Warrior as well. Elite Bow Attack. Interrupt in action. Interrupt in effect. An interrupted spell is disabled for plus 10 seconds and it's unblockable. 10 energy, half cast time, and 5 second cooldown. Okay. Interrupts are good. PvP, PvE, not so much. It has a low cooldown, which is pretty decent. 5 is not too much. Energy is a bit average, 10, but I guess it's not too bad for Ranger. Yeah, it's just not that useful in PvE, honestly. So that's why for me, it goes down to a D. I think it's less useful than Days. I think Days is more important in PvE than, than an Interrupt, honestly. Uh, you're going to be finding so many different opponents. And yeah, maybe there's one person you do need to Interrupt, but I think it's just preferable you just Daze them and just keep them locked down um, in PvE rather than, rather than just Interrupt them once. Okay, Marksman's Wager. I actually like this go quite a bit. It's an elite preparation, 18 seconds. Gain 5 to 10 energy whenever your arrow hits. Lose 10 energy whenever your arrow fails to hit. 5 energy, 2 second cast time, 24 second cooldown. So this doesn't last the whole duration. Which is fine. You get a lot of energy. You can actually just spam some of your high energy spells. Your dazes, your... Yo, what's it called? Um, your interrupts, your penetration spells, or spam them out. So I think it's actually pretty good for that. Where it lands on the list, I don't know. I think it's like a B spell, honestly. I think it goes around here. But the only reason I... Before I was thinking A, but the only reason I put in B is because there's a lot of ways that you can fail to hit in PvE. There's so much blind, there's so much block. And hard mob monsters are moving faster. Which might not make you miss, but you know, there's ways to miss. There's definitely ways to miss. And that's going to be a big detriment when it comes to your energy uh, at some points. So that's why I put in B. I think it's still good. It's just not as good as I first initially thought it might be. Now, what the hell is this one? Melandru's Arrow. Okay, Melandru's Arrow is in lead preparation, 18 seconds. Your arrows inflict a bleed condition, 3 to 25 seconds. And deal plus 8 to 25 damage to enchanted foes. 5 energy, 2 second cast time. 12 second cooldown. There are a lot of enchanted en um, enemies in PvP, PvE, which is pretty good. So you're going to be doing quite a lot more damage, which is quite nice. Um, the condition also is good. Get some bleed out. I think this is definitely better than Glass Arrow because this is a consistent bleed. It's not consistent damage though, but I think... Mm, that's, a, that's a good point. It's not a consistent damage though. That's the only thing. While, while Glass Arrow is a consistent damage, 
it's not a consistent bleed. While this one is a consistent bleed, it's not a consistent damage. Mm. Which one goes where? That's a question. I think the damage is more important, actually. I think the damage is more important than the bleed. So I think inherently this one is not as good as glass arrows. Milan use resilience. Elite stance, 8 to 20 seconds. You gain, you have plus 5 health. You have plus 5 health regen and plus 1 energy regen for each condition and hex on you. 5 energy, 15 second cooldown. Okay. At 12 is 18 duration and 20, 24. So you can keep this up forever, basically. It's a lot of health regeneration and you can have some decent energy. But do you need that in PvP? PvE? Not really. You definitely don't need the energy that much, I don't think, in a range anyway. Um, unless you're actually actively trying to do some spammy stuff like we talked about with Marksman's Wager. But in this instance, I don't think so. That's why this one goes to like a D to me. I think it goes like here. I mean, it can be good. It's like, yeah, some health regen, sure. Some energy, yeah. But I mean, do you really need it? Eh. I don't think so. Not, not that crazily. It's not that crazy that you need it that much, in my opinion. Melandry's shot. Elite bow attack. Inflicts a bleed. 5 to 25 seconds. Deals 10 to 25 damage. And inflicts cripple. 5 to 15 seconds. If target foe was moving or not down. So I think you only do the damage and the cripple if they're moving. And apparently if both if both um conditions are applied at the same time, cripple covers the bleed. Okay, five energy, one second cool cast time, eight second cooldown. It's not bad cast time and cooldown. At 21, you get plus 31 damage. So they need to be moving or not down. Um for the extra damage. But you always get the bleed. I think this is pretty, you know, pretty decent. I don't think it's bad. I think it's alright. But the fact that you can only do the extra damage when they're moving and not down is going to be quite rare. And that's why it leads me to put this in a D. It's not that often where you're going to see a lot of monsters like... I mean, only when they move is a red condition to be in. I'd rather have, what, Glass Arrow or Melandrews where it's more consistent than just when they're moving. Because I was 25 all the time. Obviously, do cripple as well, but cripple isn't that important in my opinion. So that's why I do not move up in this list. Oath shot. Elite bow attack. Recharges all skills except oath shot if it hits. Disables all skills if it misses for 10 to 4 seconds. 50% chance to miss unless expertise. Oh, yeah, I just realized this actually resets all your spells, all your skills, not just ranger skills. 10 energy, 25% cooldown. Yeah, this works with a lot of classes, actually. Um, it is an expertise, though, so it's better for ranger to use this. So you get less of a, I guess, penalty, but I, yeah, I guess the penalty doesn't matter too much. But you just need at least eight. You need at least eight. Actually, yeah, you need at least eight. So you want this. You want this to be on a range at eight. Um, but this allows them to like spam a lot of other skills. Spells. So I think this can be pretty good. It really depends. Build wise, to be honest. Uh, but what I put off shot? I actually don't know where off shot goes. Now I think about this. This is actually a bit difficult for me. It's got high risk, high reward. I think it goes in in B. Probably here. It's good. Definitely six synchronize the other classes very well, but. At the same time, 25 second cooldown, 10 energy. What other skills do you want to recharge that often anyway? On a ranger, ranger Ellie, ranger monk. I don't know. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Maybe one of you guys in the comments can let me know what you see. Because I don't. I really don't. Another wilderness survival, poison arrow, elite bow attack, inflicts poison condition, 5 to 20 seconds. Okay, at right, 20, it goes to 25, which is pretty good. 5 energy, 1 second Cast time. Now, this is just a way for you to spread a lot of poison very fast. Um, it's mostly, I'd say this is PvP based. In PvP, this will probably be like an A, maybe S, because it's just a great way for you to spread conditions constantly. In PvE, though, it's not that great. In PvE, I'll put this in C. Spreading conditions is fine, but um, I don't think this is worth it. Honestly, I don't think this is worth the spreading of conditions. Definitely the spreading of poison. In fact, it might go to it might go to D in PvE. Because I don't see it useful spreading conditions like that. Um I'd rather do other stuff, in my opinion. I definitely would rather do other stuff. I mean you can synchronize this with uh preparations. You can do bleed and poison at once. 
which does maybe increase this actually a bit too for me into that D or maybe maybe C. But I think I'll put in D for now. I just don't think it's, it's that amazing PV. Preparation shot. Um, it's kind of interesting. Elite bow attack deals 10 to 25 damage. You gain one to nine energy if you have a preparation active. At 12, it's seven energy, 22 damage, and at 21, it's 31 damage and 12 energy. Quite a lot of energy. Five energy, six second cooldown. No cost time. This one for me, where do you go? Preparation shot is pretty good. You get some energy, you get, get some damage. It's not, it's not bad damage, it's actually pretty high. So I'm going to put this maybe in like uh, top C. I don't think you need that energy to be honest. It's good energy though. It is good energy. So maybe, maybe B. Maybe low B. I put this in low B. It can work. Is it the best? Not really. But it's not a bad skill. I think it's pretty good. You get some good damage out. And you get some energy to boot. So yeah, I guess I guess it's pretty good in overall. When you consider all things together. We got a lot in B. Not bad. Not bad. Ranger skills are pretty everywhere. But a lot in B. So they overall they're just pretty good. Punishing shot. Elite bow attack deals 10 to 20 damage. Interrupts in action. Pretty simple. 10 energy, half cast time, 5 second cooldown. Skill's pretty good, you know. Uh, interruption, you do some damage as well. But interrupting, interrupting in PvE, like we said, isn't that important. Uh, so that's why for me, it lands in this area of C to B. I'm going to put it maybe at... Uh, um, maybe here, maybe here in B, maybe. I think it's good. It's not great. You don't really need interruptions like that in PvE. It might go to, it might go to B actually. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it here for now. We'll leave it here for now. I believe this one's quicksand. I remember they've seen this a lot in Nightfall. Elite Nature Ritual. Creates a 1 to 10 spirits. 30 to 90 second lifespan. Creatures lose 1 energy each time they attack or use a skill. Does not affect spirits. 10 energy, 5 second cast time. That's a long cast time. 30 second cooldown. So this helps with the energy burning skills. Obviously, though, one energy whenever attacking or using a skill, I guess that can be quite a lot. But the cast time, uh, I don't know. I don't think this is a good skill. I'm putting this in E. I think the other one that we saw from before is much more synergizes. This one kind of synergizes and it helps lose a lot. But just one every time they attack or use a spell skill, it's not, it's not enough to make it better for me. Definitely with the cast time of five seconds, that's way too long. That is way too long to prepare every time you need it. So that's why I leave an E for me. I'm being generous. Before this was an F for me. When I was thinking about this before, it was an F. But no, nah, nah. I'll leave an E. I, th I think maybe it does synchronize with our classes. So we leave an E. Quick shot. Elite bow attack. You shoot an arrow that moves twice as fast. Five energy, one second cast time, one second cooldown. It's quite nice. I didn't have to think of which one to say in which order. Because they both won. For me, quick shock is pretty decent. I mean, it's a fast hit. You can do it often, so you can spread a lot of conditions quite quickly. You can do quite a lot of stuff quite quickly, which is quite nice. Yeah, but where does it go? It doesn't really do much apart from that, though. There's no effect apart from just moving fast. So for me, maybe... I also actually think this is pretty good with preparations, but I mean, what preparations would you actually want to take it with? That's, that's the problem. I guess it's good. I mean, it is good at preparations. It's for, you know, really fast preparation. So I think for that, that's good synchronization. It goes in the top of C for me. Because of that synchronization it can have with, with other classes. Which is not too bad. Now what one is this? Let's have a look. Rampage as one. Elite skill. 3 to 15 seconds. You and your pet attack 33% faster. And move 25% faster. No effect unless your pet is alive. 25 energy. Massive energy. 10 second cooldown. Hmm. It lasts the whole duration. But that's a long. That's a big energy. That's a massive amount of energy, honestly. Mm. I think it's definitely really good though. Honestly, being attacked, able to attack faster, you and your pet and move faster. It lasts the whole duration. It's just the energy. Now, with the expertise, you can reduce the energy quite a bit, I believe. We, let, let's just do a quick check on expertise, actually. So if it costs 25, at 20 energy, it's going to cost 5 energy because you reduce your order down to 20%. At 12, you reduce it by 52%. So from 25, it's going to go to 13. At 15, it's going to go to 10. So there are ways to really reduce this. And this one, I mean, this one's in Beast Mastery though. So 
but i think honestly if you can reduce this down long enough low enough i think it's definitely really good moving speed and attack for you and your pet i think it's good i think it's top of b i think it's top of b might even be a actually no it's just the energy energy is really high they have to really spec into expertise to make this useful because the energy is just way too much honestly scavengers focus elite skill 10 seconds you gain 3 to 12 energy if you strike a foe who has condition. 5 energy, 20 second cooldown. At 20, you get 15. And yeah, this, this skill's garbage. Like, it's probably the worst skill. Like, who cares about 12 energy? Honestly, who cares? And if you strike a foe with condition, so if you don't, it doesn't do anything? But who cares about that energy anyway? 12? Like, huh? 20 second cooldown? Like, it's not. I don't think it's worth it. I think this skill should have done way much more than that. There's so many other better skills that give you energy. Than, than that skill. <laughs> than that one. Please. I think these last couple ones are going to be pretty bad. Apart from one. Smoke trap. First trap. Elite trap. 90 seconds. Afflicts blind and daze condition for 5 to 10 seconds. Nearby foes. Inter easily interruptible. At 20, you get 12 of each seconds for each. 10 energy. 2 second at fast time. 20 second cooldown. Now, it's a trap. You know, they're not very easy to use. And you're not going to really use them in PvE. And it's easily interruptible. So one hit, you stop straight away. The only thing that saves this from being the F is the fact that it has days. And days is very good. So I want to put this in E. And maybe I'm going to put it like just around here. Yeah, in the middle of both of these. Right in the middle of both of these. Let's just hope and go to the next one. Because the next one's a trap as well, I believe. Spike trap. Elite trap, 90 seconds. Affect nearby foes every second. For two seconds, this trap deals 10 to 40 piercing damage. Causes not down and fixed. Triple for 3 to 25, easily interruptible. 10 energy, 2 second cast time, 20 second cooldown. Okay, now 20 to 50 damage is quite a lot. 32 second, cripple. I mean, it's, you know, knock down, cripple, big damage, you know. Every second. I mean, every second doing 50 if at 20, that's actually quite high. The only thing is, it's a freaking trap. And because it's a trap, this one goes in E as well. The damage is good, but it's a trap. Okay, it's a trap. So, yeah. Damage is actually really good. 50 E second. Crazy. It's actually E second. Um, affects nearby foes. Every second for two seconds, this trap deals. Wow. Yeah, it does. Every second for two seconds. Hey, for two seconds. Oh. That's only twice. <laughs> okay, that's not that good. Well, I'm fine with it being here. That's not that good. It's only twice. Mm, fair enough. Now, this next skill. I believe this is the skill that was added in the anniversary. Together as one. Elite shout. 3 to 15 seconds. All party members near, your, near you and your... All party members near you and your pet deal 5 to 15 damage. And gain 1 to 7 health regen. It's a PvE skill. 10 energy, 15 second cooldown. Now, at 20, they do 9, 18 damage. And, at, and they also get 9 duration of regen nine nine regen actually so they get nine regen that is pretty high for everyone if you're thinking like this world that can really help everyone just you know deal damage just support each other really and i think that's great i honestly think that's that's a great thing to have how great though hmm. i'm thinking it's an s i do think it's an s um just have that ability it could even be s plus i think i'm gonna put this around here you're helping all your allies you give them regen you give you're supporting them it's, it's next to you and your pet so if one of these are backline now if the backline is getting stuff one of there's a frontliner the frontliner is getting stuff this is great and there is a big duration so yeah i'm saying this might be the best skill i think this is definitely an s now we need to decide where we put these who goes into s plus because i think one of them deserves at least to be an s plus but we need to think about that but we're not done the last spell here and it's a preparation elite preparation 12 to 24 seconds your trap skills no longer say, oh, why does it no longer say? <laughs> your trap skills no longer easily, easy to interrupt. Your trap skills are no longer easy to interrupt. You gain zero to two to your, to your wilderness survival attribute. Five energy, two second cast time, 12 second cooldown. And at 19, it's got up to three, which is pretty good. But obviously, you know how I feel about traps. I went through this in PvE, they're garbage. So it's still going to be garbage. This goes into F to me. Like, there's no point taking it. I don't think there's a point taking it. Nah. 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 
Maybe maybe you can point E. Maybe you can point low E. You know, it's just not that useful, honestly. Because traps aren't that useful in general. So you're gonna have to run up to them, you're gonna have to put down your traps, and by then they're all dead. So yeah, no, this is F. This is F. Garbage, 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 garbage. Alright, cool. So this is it. And now let's go through and just think about which one goes to S plus, and then we're gonna think about the rest and just see how we think they actually go in overall. Sounds good. Hey guys, there's actually two more skills that I forgot about. Um, I accidentally moved them here and I forgot they were here, so we didn't talk about them. So let's go talk about them quickly before we end up and start wrapping up at the end. So we got this one, which is practice stance. Now practice stance is an elite stance, 20 to 30 seconds, 20 to 35 seconds, sorry. Your preparation is recharged 50% faster and lasts 30 to 150% longer. Five energy, 15 second cooldown. Now, I think this is kind of a weird skill. Why would you want your preparation to recharge faster and then also last longer? That is just both of them, just, it's just too much for preparations. Like, you only have one at a time anyway. So, there's no real point to make them recharge faster so you can use them more often. And it doesn't really change much unless you're somehow switching between preparations often. But then at the same time, this one also makes them longer. So, it's just weird. It's, it's too much. There's too much benefits to preparations in in how long they last and how often you can use them so this one for me goes down into f i don't think it's good at all now we've got the next one strikers one strikers one is an elite shout your anime companion instantly moves to your foe and inflicts bleed 5 to 15 seconds with its next attack the next time you hit with an attack you can inflict cripple condition 5 to 15 seconds 5 energy 10 second cooldown now Cripple is not that useful in PvE as we've talked about throughout this whole video basically. Definitely on a single target and bleed isn't that crazy too. So the only thing that's really useful here is the instant teleport which allows your pet to stay on the enemy. I guess with the cripple they can stay on them forever and it was hit but in PvE this isn't much useful. There's so many other things you could take that are so much more powerful. So for me in this one I think this one probably stays somewhere in the E section. I think, I just don't think it's useful. I think I'm going to put it just below uh, Quicksand down here in E. I don't think it, it really makes a much of a splash. So yeah, we keep it here. All right, guys, the finale. What is going into S+. Now, I don't know, but Barrage is really, really good. Enable you to do a lot more damage. It enables builds. No, it doesn't really enable builds, actually. It just enables damage, but a lot of damage, which is great. This one here, it got some nice damage, reviewing your pet, deep rune, this is great. This is very big on team synergy. Just increasing everyone's damage, giving everyone regen, it's very supportive, it helps the team. This one is just for yourself, but attack speed and marksmanship up is great. When I start thinking about these, I'm actually thinking this one might be S+. That's my current opinion. Um, I'm thinking that one is the S+. Plus. The extra damage you give to everyone. Is it allies or is it just party? Let me, let me just have a check on that. Okay, it's party. Because if it was allies, no, that, that's definitely S+. Plus. But it's just party. Which is great. Um, Some of these ones in A. Let's have a look. A is fine, I think. Um, These ones in... Mm, Rampage is one. I think Rampage one is fine. Actually, Rampage one, I think it's pretty good. I think it got to A. The attack speed is great. The movement speed is great. Um, now I'm thinking glass glass arrows are here, and this one's up here. I mean, glass arrows gives you like what plus twenty five damage, and bleed and block. This one gives you thirty three percent faster and two marksmanship. The two marksmanship is going to give you a decent amount of damage. I don't know how much, but I'm going to guess probably what what five six percent maybe seven, and then you get the thirty three percent attack speed, which just increases your damage by. A lot okay a lot so i think the reason i'm saying this because i'm wondering if this is is this one that much better than this that it should be in b or it should have been a but i think it's fine in in where it is right now um the rest of these of shots i think i'm gonna leave it there i think this one can go up maybe no 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 no, no. this one has good synergy with teams honestly Remember, this is the PvP, PvP. This is the PvP one, guys. This is the PvE one. Remember that. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is mostly good. Honestly, I think 
these two are fine at B. Honestly, I, I, I think they're good, but they're not like so amazing that they can go to A, in my in my opinion. In my honest opinion. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think this is good. I, I think this is pretty good. I like what I have here. Um, is this one better than this one? I don't know. Attack speed for you and your pet. Bleep burn. I mean, you can burn everyone. You can do poison. You can do staffs. I think this is... I think this actually might be better than this one. Nah, uh, the heals. You get a lot of heals. You get a lot. You get a lot of that one. So that one, because there. I think I want to move one more from B to A. I'm just thinking. The glass arrows, does it deserve it? Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't deserve it. No. Yeah, guys. I, I think this is it. This is the list. This... This is the list. I think it's quite fair. You know, you can guys let, can let me know down below what you think. Obviously, like I was saying, this is the eighth one. So far, we've done Monk, we've done Dervish, we've done Palgon, Ellie, Necro, Warrior. And now we're here on Ranger. The last two is Assassin and Mesmo. If you want Assassin and Mesmo, you can let me know. And I'll do it. As long as I get one comment saying, yo, Nova, do it. I'll do it. Uh, apart from that, I've got a new... A new playthrough for Guilders 1. I just have to think of how it's going to work. But I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. So it's going to be quite exciting. Right, guys. That's it for me. I will catch you guys next time. See ya.